Hello world, Prof. Mike Green starting a new video series on learning to code uh, with HTML and CSS using Codecademy.com. Go ahead and sign up for an account if you have not already. I've got a link in the description. And once you're logged in, we're going to look for the HTML and CSS block here. Uh, if you've already got some experience with HTML, you can start further down the list. If you're looking to brush up on a specific skill like positioning, uh, that's fine. We're going to go ahead and start with the HTML basics, walk through these first lessons, and really get a good foundation under our belt. If you've never experienced Codecademy.com and its awesomeness before, uh, let me give you a quick tour. On the left column here, we're going to get a little bit of instruction. Each lesson is going to present us with some new concept with programming. Below that are the instructions of uh, what they want us to do for this particular exercise, and we're going to execute that here in the middle section. Uh, you can see we've got an HTML file here. We're going to be working on HTML uh, code. As we get more and more complex, we want to add some styles, some cascading style sheets. We'll have a CSS file. If we want to add some JavaScript, we'll have a JS file. So we can have multiple tabs here with multiple files. Uh, just depends on how complex the project is. When we make changes, those changes get reflected in the console over here. So let's dig right into lesson one. Uh, it's pretty simple. We've already got the HTML set up. They simply want us to get on line two and uh, change the text between the strong tags. So if you've never taken a look at HTML before, this is an HTML tag. Anything between those greater than and less than signs is the tag itself. We've got an opening strong tag here and then the closing strong tag, which is indicated by that forward slash. Anything in between the strong tag is the content of that tag. Strong is a tag that makes text bold. When we change that, we'll just say hello world. You can see it gets updated in the console over here and that text is bold. And uh, that's all we were supposed to do for lesson one. Thanks for watching.